And a big welcome back to the Ask Coach Wendy Show alongside Wendy Mater. I'm Dave Erickson. Great topic today. It's an acronym. It is SMART, and it stands for, well, there's five different things it stands for, but Wendy, this all has to do with SMART training. So let's begin with S and what that means. Um, so first, let's back up. When when someone has wants to train for a race, the first thing I ask is, what are your goals? And more often than not, oh, I want to finish or I want to finish under a time. And then that's it. And I'm like, well, let's be a little bit more specific about it. So S stands for specific. Um, instead of saying you want to finish, even though that should be the goal, especially if it's your first one, we all have goals inside our head that we want to finish in a certain time. And the reason that's important is to be specific um, with what your goal is, such as a time, is it kind of sets the tone of your training. Are you training to get the endurance to finish, or are you training with a purpose, um, with a time goal in mind? Um, so just being a little, you know, fine-tuning the specific areas of your goals that you're trying to do. Okay, and M stands for, well, three different M's. we got measurable, meaningful, and motivational. So you talk about making your fitness goals measurable. Measurable, and again, it kind of goes back to what I talked about specific with a time goal. Um, you're measuring your finish time. Or maybe you have a goal of swimming a certain distance. The distance is a measure. It's a unit. Um, um, what were the other ones? Meaning uh. Oh, meaningful. <laughs> meaningful. So, um, you know, again, it goes to your why. Why do you have that certain goal? If you don't have a certain why, then w what's the point? It doesn't have meaning. So when you, when you add meaning to the goal, it keeps you motivated to pursue and do the training that you need to do to make that goal happen. If it has a wine and meeting, a meaning. And you also want to make this goal, this fitness goal, motivational? Motivational goal, yeah. I mean, part of adding the meaning to your goal is to keep you motivated because you want to stay motivated to do what you need to do and training to achieve your goal. Okay, so we're being specific. We're finding some sort of unit to measure this. Number three, uh, making it achievable or action oriented. So achievable um, also is attainable. Um, you know, just kind of looking back at your past experience, your current fitness, um, your current time commitment. Um, is, it re is it achievable according to your standards of what's achievable? Um, it's kind of, you know, take the example, I want to lose 30 pounds in a month for my high school reunion. Hmm. And it's not really re achievable. You know, losing 30 pounds is kind of drastic and you're probably not going to do it. So let's set some small-term goals to make it more achievable for you. And what do like you mean by action-oriented? Um, setting up an action plan to, like a training plan to help you achieve your goal. Instead of just saying, okay, in three months I'm going to go do an Ironman. Well, let's create an action plan in those three months so you not only complete the Ironman, but you complete it healthy and injury-free and you actually enjoy it. Um, I've actually met a lot of people over the years that actually, maybe not an Ironman, but they'll just one day wake up and say, I want to go do a marathon, and they'll just go do it. I mean, that's cool if you can do that, but you're probably more likely to get injured and not really enjoy the process if you don't have an action plan leading up to your goal. Okay. And the, and goal, be the goal being a race okay. in this context. And you mentioned this, but let's be a little more specific with this one. The R can be realistic, relevant, reasonable, and hopefully rewarding. Rewarding. So realistic. Again, it goes back to um, if your current fitness level for a 5K is 30 minutes, it's probably not realistic that you're going to do a three-hour marathon if you can do it three miles in 30 minutes. So based on little small short-term goals, some measurable um, units, some training, uh, making sure you or the athlete knows if it's realistic, either at the, definitely at the start, but even changing the parameters throughout the training. Is it still realistic? Okay, maybe you got injured and you missed two months of training. So let's modify our goal if it's not as realistic as it was two months ago due to uncontrollable circumstances. Oh, this, this is great. I love this. Okay, now we're, we're finishing off the acronym with the letter T. So it's time-based, timely, and tangible. I love all these letters. Go ahead. Um, Time-based. Um, again, I've kind of already touched on a lot of this, but having that I want to do an Ironman in six months or five years or ten years, having a, a, a point of when you're going to achieve your goal, have a time frame of 
it's going to happen in 2016, it's going to happen in 2020. Um, that's important because, yeah, you can set a goal, but if you don't really set a time and a place and a meaning to that goal, you might not ever do it. Um, what do they say? A dream is just a wish. Something about a dream and a goal and a wish. I don't even know what it is, but we could go to Facebook and find that quote of a dream is just a wish unless you said it, unless you do it, or I don't even know what it is. But <laughs> it's important to um, have that timeline of when you want to achieve your goal. And, 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 you know, I just had a girl want to um, talk to me about marathon training. She goes, I want to qualify for Boston. And then all of a sudden she's like, oh, but I'm not going to do it in that race in April. And I'm like, why not? You know, maybe you can, maybe you can't, but let's start setting SMART goals. Let's start defining that SMART of training for doing that Boston qualifier. And maybe it is achievable. She's such a new athlete. She's already got it in her mind. Oh, that's a long-term goal. And I'm like, let's make it a short-term goal and let's do it in six months. Maybe it's achievable, but until we define the SMART, we don't know yet. Boy, you must have a lot of uh, eye-opening situations with new athletes or athletes who haven't heard this concept before. Oh, absolutely. I think it's important for the newbie as well as the experienced athlete. Yeah. Um, especially the newbie. And then you just really educate them about what it means to train and what it means to race and um, the process that they're getting into. It becomes more like, oh, wow, cool. It's more than just going to the event and doing it. There's, just, there's a journey involved in the SMART goal process. Everyone knows what their end goal wants to be, but they don't always realize the step or the road that it's going to take to get there. Exactly. Yeah, this really outlines it well. Um, you can see this uh, outlined on Wendy's website, t2coaching.com. I really like this. The acronym is SMART. So recapping, Wendy, uh, I'll put you on the test here. What's the S stand for? Specific. M? Measurable. A? Attainable. R? Realistic. And T? And timely. In a timely manner. There you go. I love it. Hey, if you got a question for Wendy, use the hashtag Ask Coach Wendy on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube, and we'll see if we can do uh, put that on the show next time. Thanks, Wendy. Thanks.